I'm sitting here with Ronnie Sanders and Chris Walters. Um, so I have a first question for you, Ronnie. Uh, how did it feel to win the NHL championship last season as a freshman? Uh, the freshman, it was exciting. You know, my team worked very hard. I worked very hard. It was really exciting being that I was a young player coming in, being able to start and help my team out the best way I can. And I'm glad we came out and we got all the way to the championship. That was great for you guys to make it to the NHL championship and win it your first season. Um, what are your expectations for this season? For this season, I expect for us to continue to work hard, get better. Uh, the chemistry should still uh, continue to grow. We have pretty much the same guys coming back. I just expect, even, and as long as uh, well as new guys, so I expect us to just keep building on from that. After your freshman season, you uh, your three point percentage was forty three point six. Your field goal percentage was forty five point five, and you had a, you averaged twelve points per game. Uh, do you expect to improve on that this season? Yes, I expect to improve on that a lot because I know now I, it's a big target on our back as a team, also for me as a player. So as a team leader, I have to uh, accommodate more and be more productive on and off the court with my team. So yes, I do look forward to increasing that. All right. Um, you had a big win versus Assumption tonight. Uh, they were the team that knocked you out of the NCAA uh, tournament last season. How does that feel? Uh, it feels pretty good. We went out there, we played hard, we did all the things that uh, we had in the coaching strategy, and we went out there and got the win. Thank you, Rodney. Um, Chris, so you had a tough injury with your meniscus this season. When do you think you're going to be back? Uh, I, would, I started practice Monday, so hopefully next week I'll all right. be back. That's good to hear. Uh, Stan Spear has a lot of uh, expectations for you this season. Um, as a freshman coming out of St. Thomas More as well as Ronnie did, uh, how does it feel? Um, it feel it feel good to have high expectations for myself and um, for the team. Um, during the summertime, I put a lot of hard work in, so I'm looking for for a good season. Uh, that's Atkins great to hear. Good drive to get by Wilson. Sanders the three, swish it as Sanders hits the contested three. And he's he's right. feeling it right now, Park. Sanders will try another one, and he'll make it another one. Left, and they have a 13-point here by Barzanior. Sanders around the contact, exactly. and it is up to the line. It's 15. So this question is for both of you. Um, can you guys elaborate on uh, St. Thomas More's prep school, since you both actually uh, were enrolled at that school? Hmm. Uh, St. Thomas More was pretty interesting. It was pretty much an all-boys boarding school, you know. It was pretty much for kids that needed to be taught how to, like, learn structure and responsibility for yourself. So it, it helped a lot with education, growing, and it was a good prep for college as far as getting ready for college and living on your own and having your own responsibilities. And the basketball program was very well. The coach is a very good coach who's been there for years, and I feel like he helped me a lot on my game. Walters from West Hill. Hi, Chris Walters, Highlight Sports Media. Highlight Sports Media. The guard from West Hill Vikings. Them Stanford boys. Chris Walters from West Hill. Highlight Sports Media. This is your boy, Coach C. It's the FCAC Mixtape Awards. We doing it big in 2012. Log on to the website. Highlight Sports Media. Moving on. Um, at St. Thomas More, we learned a lot. Um, I grew from it, matured from it. Uh, it taught me a lot how to be on my own. Um, the coaching staff taught me a lot. Um, the competition there was was great. And um, I just been sure from it, and um, I, I, I want to continue on uh, improving on my game and stuff like that. All right, that's understandable. Um, for you guys, you guys are gonna be there for the next three, maybe four seasons. Um, what do you expect from those seasons ahead? Uh, I think from an uh, upcoming season, I think I expect for more progress. You know, for us to get better. Chris to get healthy and be able to come and just jump right into the lineup and start to play. Um, I I got a lot of expectations for us uh, for these past coming for these upcoming years. Um, yeah, um, I expect big things, man. I think we could win a national championship, conference championship. Um, 
I feel like we got a good team, uh, good chemistry. We both like each other. All of us like each other. Um, let's keep on growing as a team. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves with the national championship, but uh, I think that'll do. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs>